Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. You're listening to Heaven on Earth. And I thought about um, how do I want to start the show out today? Like, what's the number one question that I can ask the audience today on um, what does living heaven on earth mean to you? And really, that's what the key is, because Heaven on earth is a state of consciousness that's already here, that's here for all beings that are, for all the souls that are willing to experience that level of evolution. And it all matters based on what you perceive and what heaven on earth means to you. And so that's the question. So as we're um, on the show today, let that question live in the question and just let it um, unfold for you. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from the audience members on what heaven on earth means to you. So today I have invited back to the show, Susan Glavin. And Susan Glavin's been with us in the past and she is here to share with us today um, her practice on what she does to connect with her A-team is what she calls it. And for those of you that don't know Susan, Susan is an influencer. She's a way shower. She is a published author. She's a speaker. And um, she leads women's circles in the Portland area. And so welcome back to the show, Susan Glavin. Well, thank you, dear. It's it's wonderful to be here. I love to um, share my personal experiences, and that's really uh, what I feel is the most dynamic or the most important or where I can connect deeply with other people is just truly through my personal experiences. So that's what I'm so excited to share because I think it is so important for us to connect with these amazing light beams that are all around us that are here to help and serve us. And all we need to do is ask, you know, and connect. And I, you know, I'd love to share with you some of my, the things that I have done to do that. And for me, it's just, it's kind of norm. It's very normal for me to be in communication with my A team. Um, I communicate with them when I'm driving down the road. Uh, it's very uh, clear, and I know them very well now, and I'm getting to know them even better and, and having even deeper um, conversations and connections with them. And they're pretty amazing, and they are really here for us. They're here to serve us. Wow, they love us so much. Right. So yeah. it's, a, it's a constant. It's a constant communication. So it's 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 a uh, being in continuous communication, just like being in continuous ceremony, with um with how we live our lives now at this stage of the game. So let's let's kind of like start at the beginning, Susan. So like, how did you first connect? to your team so you you know you're in constant communication now but what is it um what is it that you do to what is it that you did to get started how did you get started that's a great question and i didn't really know i wasn't even sure if i believed to be honest i mean i had an idea yes there's angels and we i've heard that we have these guides that have been with us from the beginning and some of them come and go but i just really wasn't sure i wasn't sure because i hadn't had that personal experience for myself so what i did and i invite everyone to do depending on where they are with their 
connection with their A team is to just be really honest about it. And that's what I did. I was like, okay, I'm not really sure if I really believe that you're real. And that's what I said. I not I I have an idea that you're you're real and I really want you to be real and I want your support and help, but I'm not really sure. I've never experienced that. So I I guess I just need a sign that you are. And so that's that's how I started. And I think it's important just to be really honest and like and some for some people, they're a little afraid to connect. And that's okay too, because you're like, okay, I'm opening up this. Yeah, something that I am I've never done before. It's it's new territory. It's uh, a new experience for me. And sometimes that can be a little scary, a little challenging for you. So again, be honest about that. Like you know, sometimes I, when I start, I was like, okay, I close my eyes. I'm a little scared about this. I'm not sure how to do this, but I need your help. I need your help, and I need a sign from you that you really are there for me. And then I asked for one, and I do that all the time now. I I have some wonderful stories about the signs that I get from my from my team of people. Um, so I think that would be the most important thing that I would share with people is however you come to them, however you want to do it, just be honest. Be really honest about what it's like for you and what you want to experience for them and how you know you earn you in earnest you really want their love and support. You want to feel them in your life. You want to sense them in your life. You want to experience their wisdom in your life. I think that would be the most important if you're just starting out. And then, of course, if you if you know that you have guides, which many people do know that they have their personal guides, and and it's like any relationship, right? You have to spend time in nurturing it. You spend time connecting and nurturing, just like, you know, anybody in your life, you spend time with them to, to deepen the connection, to deepen, you know, the intimacy. And it's no different that, than with our personal relationships in the physical than our relationships with our star families, our, the angels, the guides, you know, the ascended masters. Right. Well, that's one of the ways that heaven on earth was born is in the non-physical. It's first of a, first we have to really even believe and perceive that it's even possible. Yeah. And to really be able to move yourself into that because everything happens energetically first. It's all energetic because the world as we see out there, that is the old part that we're releasing and letting go of the old world. And so how can we then develop a greater level of intimacy, but to go in and get quiet and listen to uh, the guidance that 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 is just there waiting for us, right? Absolutely. And like you said, the the key, I think, one of the keys is um, is the value is nurturing the relationship and making time for it. That's yeah. that's one of the things that makes you so authentic because you. Um, walk that talk. So this is part of your signature and it's part of your relationship. It's how you relate. And so it's how you live your life. So it's not, it's not that you um, just do it every now and then it's how you live your life and it, it walks with you, um, <laughs> which, which is, um, which makes, makes you very authentic and very uh, unique in, in that, that you are walking your talk with what it is that you're, that you're saying and what it is that you're living. And then that way you can um, inspire us and other people to um, listen to the higher consciousness that's coming through because you've developed a channel with it where you're allowing that information to come in and then um, get insights and tips into how to build your new world, right? Absolutely. I call it my golden hour mm -hmm. in the morning. And sometimes that changes a little bit, but, um, but I really enjoy it. I really enjoy connecting with my team. And sometimes, I was, I was just thinking about this before the call, sometimes, this happened a few years ago, it seemed like they were gone. I remember that. I was like, 
where's my team? I mean, seriously, it was like they were not there. And one, one of the messages that I got from them, which was so powerful for me at the time, was self-reliant. And I was like, and I got a little pissed off about it, to be honest with you, because I was like, what do you mean? You're not here for me anymore. I'm on my own here, you know, and it was, and I needed to have that experience too of, listen, you have this, you know, and we'll get to that place. I think depending on where you are in your journey, you know, there might be that time Well, yes, you need this support right now. And we're going to really fill you up so that you not only trust us, but start trusting yourself, which that's what it's really about, right? To really be our own guru, our own teacher, to go within and get that information. But but I really had a profound experience about not only was I self-reliant, could I could stand on my own, but at the same time, they were on the path with me and I could feel them. And it was such a beautiful experience for me. Um, so, and I think, I really believe this today that, you know, all the time that I've spent, you've spent, other people have spent getting connected with our star families, the ascended masters, our angels, our guides, the nature divas, all those beautiful beings of light and love, that it's making it easier for other people to connect. So it may not take, you know, because I've been doing this for years and years and years now. I think it because we have and the energies are supporting it so much. They're like, hello, we want to we want to play with you. Let us let us help you that it's easier for us now for people to connect and have that beautiful relationship and exactly. to talk about it. I'm like, let's I talk about it to people all the time. Like it's no big deal. Which is exactly why I wanted to have you on the show <laughs> because I, I love how um, you share your joy of um, how you connect with your guides. And I thought this would be the perfect topic today, especially right now as many people are just um, feeling lost. And so we want to uh, enlighten you with being able to, there, you're not lost and you're not, you're not alone and that um, you, you definitely have the support and the guidance that's there for you, but you do have to be willing to ask. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Thank you so much for listening. Hi, I'm Tom Lombrezo, and I'm here to tell you of my latest book, The Magic of Finding Love and Peace. What's it all about? Well, can you imagine you are driving home, like I did 17 years ago, in my Jeep, when an angel comes into my Jeep and tells me what to do. I did it, and it saved my life because a terrible accident ensued seconds later. My life changed dramatically since that day, full of spiritual experiences. I have documented those spiritual experiences in this book so that you can relive them yourself. Perhaps you're going through your own spiritual transformation. If there's any doubt in your mind that there are angels or are messages you might get from clouds or that you are a spiritual being as well as a human being, you must buy this book. This book is full of photographs, 375 color photographs, over 278 pages. Of those, 155 uh, photographs are of clouds, clouds that will knock your socks off. So, how do you buy this book? Well, go to my website, www.whenangelstouch.com, whenangelstouch.com, and on the home page, you'll see the, the photograph of the book, and it just says, buy it. So please buy it, it's $25, it's a good bargain for it, what you're getting. And if you need to contact me by email, tom at whenangelstouch.com. And you can see me on Facebook every day at When Angels Touch Facebook. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm talking with Susan Glavin, and we're talking about connecting with our A-team today and letting you know that everybody's got a team and that we're not alone and that it's easy for us to connect. All we have to do is just ask and be willing to receive the guidance that's coming through. So Susan, share with us some practical tips on uh, what we can do right now to uh, begin connecting. Okay. One of the ways that I started was through angel cards. And I'm not certain if you're, you know, if, if all the viewers are familiar with angel cards, but you can get them 
almost to any metaphysical store or online, just Google angel cards. Um, one of my favorites right now I'm going to share with you is so awesome. It's called the Good Tarot. Ah. And it's very powerful. They're really great and they're very direct. And, you know, I like, um, I like clear, direct answers, but I don't like to be afraid or get cards that are like there's a little fear in there some i mean I, I i think some guidance and good wisdom on things to do but i'm i'm not i kind of steer away from ones that are more fear-based like if you don't do this or you're gonna get you know you know and i'm like i i that just doesn't feel right for me you can start there you can also start by just saying okay um before you walk out of your door, you can say, okay, I would love to have a sign from you today. Like, could you give me, you know, like the angel numbers 333 or 777, 111, you know, just ask for a clear sign, which I have done several times. I'll share a quick story with you. It's so great because a dear friend of mine sent me this awesome book on Amazon about how to have your most extraordinary 2018. And I remember I was reading it. I was having dinner one night and I was like, these are really some really good questions and stuff. And so, and then I had the thought, cause I, I do Kundalini yoga every day. And I had the thought, I thought, you know, I think the Kundalini yogas are going to really help out with this. So I go into my practice the next day and the gal who always practices with me says, guess what? And I said, what? And she says, guru Jagat, who is the one that is the guru that teaches, um, is having an Aquarian Business Academy. And I went, really? I thought, and I had just had the thought about business and the, the, the yoga was gonna help. So on the way home, I'm like, okay, everybody listen up. And that's how I do it sometimes. I'm in my car. I'm like, okay, listen up. I really wanna go to this business academy. And, um, and while we're at it, there's a couple other things too. And I said them out loud and, and I said them out loud in my car. And as soon as I finished, the train went by and led this big boom, right? And I was like, okay. So on the way to work, I said, okay, if it is in my highest and greatest good to go to this business academy, I want to see and or hear the word Venice today. You know, and that's not like a common, I'm just, I make it hard on them sometimes. I'm like, okay. If this is, and I always say, if it's in my highest and greatest good, because for me, if it's in my highest and greatest good, it's always in everybody else's highest and greatest good. And that's something that's really, really important for me. So I get to work and I, I my sister comes in and I, I, I'm cutting her hair and I'm telling her about the Kundalini and the, the Academy and Venice Beach, blah, blah, blah. So we start talking about her exchange student from Japan, you know, and her kids and their vacations, blah, blah, blah. And she's getting ready to leave. And she turns around before she walks out the door and she says, did you say Venice Beach? And I said, <laughs> yes, I did. And so I go back in the back room and I look at my phone and there's a text from Gretchen who um, does the Kundalini with me. And she says, check this out. She goes, she goes, I was having lunch with my sister and look what walks in the door. And she sends me a picture of a man with a baseball hat on. What do you think it had on that baseball hat? Venice. <laughs> yeah. So again, really clearly ask clear, clear signs. And of course I went and it was magnificent and it's been great, but so really clearly ask, and you can say, you know, if, if this is in my highest and greatest good, I'd like to see, I've done things like balloons. I want to see three rainbows today. I mean, really clear and specific. This is what I want to see. And then what the most important thing is just trust. And if it doesn't come around right away, don't give up because I want you to know they are here and maybe you're just got a little resistance. You're a little afraid or you're not hearing everything clearly but keep going i'm just saying they they love us so much and they want to help and support us so much especially now so i want you to know you are never never ever alone even when you feel like it and i just say you know sometimes i've been on my knees and said i need your help and sometimes it's been in a place of total humor and laughter where we joke around with each other so However you want to show up with your angels and guides is perfect. There's no particular way like this very reverent, 
you know, and that can be too. I've been very reverent when I connected, but whatever, however you are is perfectly okay. However you want to connect or voice that connection or start that communication. So know that there's no like perfect way to do it. It's whatever's best for you. Right. And really discovering what that way is. Yes. Um, but again, it has to, it, it has to start somewhere and it starts with you um, being curious and being interested in it. It's funny when, when you were talking about being in the car and talking out loud, I do that a lot too. This is one of my, my things too. Um, and I started that when I was a little kid, I was in second grade and um, as a little kid, I had a lot of responsibility. I was um, taking care of um, the household. I was taking care of my mother. I was taking care of my brother. And I was I had to go to school. Um, so there was there was a lot of responsibility on me as a kid. And I grew up in Germany. And in Germany, we um, we grew up with very strict. Um, uh, with a very strict household that everything had to be spotless clean. I mean, if, you, if you've ever been to Germany, you're going to see that's, that's a way that every, everybody lives over there. I mean, we used to iron our, our towels and our sheets. And um, so I iron our socks, iron our towels, iron our sheets. And so I would come home from school. And so that, that, was, that was that one part. And now I'm coming home from school and now I have to clean up the entire house and make sure that everything is spick and span before my mother gets home. So um, being in second grade, I, I naturally came home and I just started calling in my team. And I called in my team of angels and I called them into the kitchen and they all had names. And I called them in and I said, uh, you're, you're going to do this part. You're going to do this part. This is how we do this part. This is how we do this part. And this team of angels was, uh, you know, with me from, from long ago and they all had names to assist us. Right. And even at that point in time, I didn't really even know what I was doing, but it was such a natural and organic way for me to talk to my invisible friends, my invisible helpers that have been there all along. And so I love, I love that story. I love the talking out loud. Yes. And yeah, love, love the connection. And when you were talking about the Venice, when I was uh, thinking about moving to Santa Fe once, I was um, asking for signs. About, is Santa Fe the right place for me? And so I'm, I'm talking and I'm driving on the freeway and what do I see? A train. And a train, what does it say? Santa Fe. Okay. <laughs> right? So these kinds of magical um, ways yes. that the communi- the the universe is consistently communicating back with us, oh. right? Through nature. I mean, how many countless all experiences? the time. All the time. And it's it's not the universe that's out of the flow. It's us that it, that are out of the flow. And so I would just, you know, it's I love it because when I when I really um, devote my time and energy daily, and I would just I would recommend everyone please just do if it's five minutes a day, whatever if it's, if it's a a prayer, if it's a a chant, which I love mantras, I love because the the vibration it's really the vibration of a mantra that I like because I can feel it in my body and my vibration I start to radiate it a little higher. Whatever that might be, whether it be a guided meditation online, but to do it every day, at least five days, take, take at least, you know, if you can five days, if it's 10 minutes, do that. Consist. here's, here's the key. It's to do it consistently because if you do it consistently, you are going to see profound changes. I mean, profound changes. I mean, 10 minutes, you know, Myself, I like 30 to 40 minutes of my prayer time, my uh, chanting mantra. I journal. I do gratitude. I do, like I said, it's my golden hour. Now, I don't get them all in all the time, but I always, always do something every day to just connect. And one thing that I love to do is I say one of my prayers is to, you know, to be totally embrace my high holy self. That 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 my live that I walk in that 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 it, and I know it's already there. I just have to 
you know, say, yes, it is. It's here. It's here. It's with me always, you know, and sometimes we think it's outside of ourselves when, and believe me, I do it. So, but um, I would just say to be consistent, be consistent with your practice. If you're consistent with your practice, you will have profound shifts in your life and you will see the wonderment and magic in the world and you will start to experience what I call hyposynchronicities, which it's like, it's like you're in awe of your life. And it's not that it stays that way all the time because we need those challenges to keep, to, to know that yes, we can, we can meet with any challenge. With grace, we can meet with any challenge with power. We can meet with Ill, any challenge without resistance, absolutely. right? And, and, and to absolutely move with that and get the gifts of those challenges. But I'll tell you, when you're in the hyposynchronicity, it's super fun. It is so fun because it's so magical. You're like, my life is incredible, and when you're in that vibration, of course, we all know that radiance and that vibration brings to us more of that vibration of that beauty, that wonderment, that harmony, that prosperity and abundance in our life, those deep relationships, all those things that we desire. It's so funny. So before I got on the call, I did a 32 minute chant, which I was drawn to. I heard it. And I, it's been a long time since I've done this chant. It was so funny. So I go to my iTunes and what do you think was the first chant up when I opened it up? There it was. And it's called Hadanam Satanam Hadanam a day. And it's 32 minutes. So I go and I sit down and I'm doing it and I'm feeling pretty good. And then I thought, I, I don't remember what that meant. I, I need to look that up when I'm done. So I pull my angel cards and I pull this one. What do I desire? So I immediately closed my eyes and said, this is what, and I started to speak out loud. This, 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 you know, and just in a beautiful, oh, and this, you know, and it's all beautiful, wonderful things that I desire for myself and for humanity. So then I get done and I go, I got to check that out. And so what this chant means, I just have to read this too. It says, the first, uh, first part of this mantra aligns the powerful creative flow of life. Okay, and it's, that's the Hadanam. With your personal identity, destiny, and desire. Well, all right, okay. So like I said, it was all in alignment. The second line aligns your intuitions and your intentions. So the unseen hand of spirit supports the fulfillment of your desires. Now, I didn't know any of that until, I mean, I already pulled the card. I'd already stated my desires. Then I came and I looked to see what in there. It's like, well, yay. And that is what's available to us all the time. Right. And, and it's because you're seeing it also, because you're seeing yes. it, you're looking for it, you're asking, and it's, it's all right there. So yeah. we're going to take a quick break. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hello, my name is Charlene Hess, and I want to share with you my wonderful experience of choosing to use Cornelia Stephanie as my life coach. My life is so different now from where it was when I began working with her in 2011. At that time, I was in a dysfunctional marriage. I had my own business. I was raising two children and completely dead inside. After working with Cornelia, I began to gain confidence. I began to learn and understand how to use my emotions in my life. I learned how to process the emotions that were stored in my body, the ones that I thought that I had already worked through in my 12 years of counseling prior to working with her. The process that she had taken me through of using my emotions to heal my life, to use my anger to find peace was absolutely incredible. I have been working with her one-on-one uh, -on -one for many years now. And even though I am in a place now where I am thriving in my life, I still refer to Cornelia as my coach and I still work with her on an ongoing basis where we're always checking in and keeping me accountable in my growth. After working with her for many years, I decided to go through her wholeness certification coach, uh, coaching program, and it has absolutely been an amazing process. 
I now am a certified empowerment coach and I got certified through her program and I am taking clients and helping them to find the empowerment in their lives. One of the things that I love about Cornelia is that she taught me that I am the authority in my own life. And that was a really difficult experience to go through because it was really fighting against all of the dogma and programming that was so ingrained in my brain that all of the authority is outside of me. But as I began to understand and believe and adopt and know the truth that I am the authority in my life is when everything in my life started to shift and change. I became responsible for my decisions. I became responsible for creating a life that I love. And now I'm here in this amazing, beautiful place, living a life of so much happiness and joy. And no matter what life throws at me, I have the tools to be able to approach everything from a place of empowerment. And now I have the ability to help other people do the same. So working with Cornelia has absolutely been the best decision that I've ever made in my life. It has taken me from a life of absolute misery and given me the tools to be able to have a life of absolute complete joy. So I cannot recommend working with her enough. I hope that you decide to choose to have her as your coach Go through her empowerment coaching program, go through her wholeness certification, and I guarantee you won't regret it. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and we're talking today about connecting with our guides, connecting with the Ascended Masters, connecting with our A-team and our angels. And just when Susan and I were on break, we were talking about how important it is to have discipline. That's really um, another practical step right now that I think is really important for us to embody and uh, make a commitment to, is to be disciplined with what you said earlier, Susan, that if, if people do it every single day and um, build a, uh, a consistency, um, they're going to generate a momentum. And that momentum is what uh, builds your confidence and it just it strengthens the connection it waters the flowers it does all of these things and like like the way that um that i'm feeling right now too is like you know everything is already here it's all here for us it's all here we don't have to um effort after anything or make anything happen because it's it's already here it's just having the discipline to be with each experience as it unfolds and um you know be devoted to that right oh absolutely i would say probably the most important and i think today and i know a lot of you listening feel this way it's like there's a lot going on yeah. We are bombarded with so much, you know, and our nervous systems are ramped up. I mean, you see it all over. People are just, you know, hurry, hurry. They're not even in their bodies. They're not even, they're just in this automatic, uh, get it done. Yeah. And that's why it's so important that we take that time to get in alignment, to let the nervous system unwind a little bit. Let yourself settle into the body, get in alignment. This field our auric field is what you are responsible for and i guarantee you if you get that in alignment and you're really contained in that and clear you will be able to move through life with so much grace and so much ease even when these the, the people that are really having a hard time around you you'll be able to stand in your sovereignty in your peace and be okay with what's happening around you and that's that's going to be really important for us today and in the coming, you know, years to come, that we um, really stay really calm and focused in that. And, and I'm not saying this is going to be all the time because just a couple of days ago, I was like, really? But, you know, I knew what was happening. I was really angry and then I was sad later, but I just allowed myself to be with each piece. And then I discovered something. I was guided to listen to something. And I go, oh my gosh, so that's what happened because there was a lot of the subconscious was leaving, I guess, on the 8th, ninth, and 10th day of the moon. I didn't know this, but that's when the subconscious starts coming and people can be really activated. And I was, but I was activated consciously. Um, There's a difference between totally. being, you know, you know, being triggered and just in reaction in right. life. You, Instead of responding, and, yeah. and what I did was just I allowed myself to feel that way. I think I even expressed that to someone that I love very much about what I was feeling, and it was we had this amazing conversation. So, and I know who to go to 
when I'm, you know, a little activated. But again, I'm very responsible and I know what's, I know something's happening. I always know it's good. Even when it doesn't feel good, I know that something's happening where I'm elevating my vibration. I'm, I'm, I'm up leveling to a new place. So I'm not saying that it's all smooth and easy all the time. There are times when it's going to be a little uncomfortable. We're going to be challenged. But the more we do our daily practice, the more we're going to be able to show up in those circumstances in our life and be victorious. You know? Yeah. It's Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like one of the things that um, happened last week, I um, I was preparing for the show last Friday and um, I just prior to the show, like a, a couple hours to before the show, I got activated and I was like, oh, my God, I just wanted to go off into a completely other direction because my fire was really I was really angry and I, I was angry because of um, there was another school shooting and I, you know. I just couldn't understand that um, really, is this really still what's happening here with as awake as we are, as empowered as we are, the tools that we have, there is no need for um, that to continue on happening, no more lives to be lost. So that was a time where I had to really do some deep breathing and release again, some of my own anger that something is something should be different than what it is because that's the thing is that whatever is occurring it's all occurring to release the old energy the old suppression um the old karmic stories that we've been living for the last 26,000 years and here we are now we're opening up a new cycle we're opening up a new era a new paradigm i mean we're living heaven on earth that has never been done before that's never been done before where we're this conscious this awake and so of course we're going to do it with our a team with our angels with our guides with our love and our nurturing, with our daily practice, with our discipline, how else are we going to extend unconditional love to others if we don't know how to give it to ourselves? Right, absolutely. And I'd like to leave the listeners with another thing too, you know, because I've been doing a lot of connecting with the Ascended Masters. And one thing, and I think I said this before, it's they want us to take them off the altars, okay? That was never the intent. They are our partners, our allies, our friends, our mentors, and they're really here for us. We can do all that they did and more. You've heard that, okay? And, and they know that about, that, about us. Um, so I just would really invite you. And I also want you to know that they, what I find was, is so awesome is a lot of the times they're not going to give you an answer, Okay, which is even more powerful, I think, because they know that we have the answers. Okay, and it was so wonderful. I remember I was I wasn't sure about this man I was dating. I was like, oh, I don't know. I just oh, what do I do? And I, so I went into meditation. I called on Mary Magdalene. I thought, well, you know, Mary, you and Jesus had it going on. So I'm thinking you're the perfect person to ask. So I was when I said, Mary Magdalene, I go, is this is this relationship in my highest and greatest good? I just and what she said to me was so beautiful. She said. Imagine your life without him. And I went. And so I went in and I went, wow. And that was kind of easy to do. And then he, she said to me, imagine your life with him. And I went, ooh, <laughs> not so much. But it was so beautiful. She didn't say, oh, yes, leave him. Oh, yes, you need to stay. Mm -mm. It was like directed back to me with these very, very powerful questions, which I love. I mean, they're just so amazing. And I, I love just owning that for myself and looking for myself like, wow. So don't, I would just say, not that you won't get answers. I don't know, but expect a question, which is really so much more powerful because then it brings it back to you. It's the ultimate life coach. It's the ultimate yeah, right? coach because life coach, that's what life coaching is about is it's not about, telling somebody what to do and that's part of it's not in harmony with the universal law of free will yes it is, um free will is that we always have free will to choose and we would never ever um our guides would never ever uh infringe uh upon us and 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 tell us what to do because um we're here to grow our soul and that's what we're here to do. We're here to become embodied and to fully own our power own our authority and um 
the ascended masters are here to show us that we are in the image and the likeness of who they are and that we right. can do uh, what they did even greater. And that, that's, that's the piece is taking on that level of responsibility requires dedication, commitment, uh, discipline, focus, um, and un understanding that we have the capability to, uh, to do amazing things. And that's yeah. for each and every person to discover for themselves. And like you said, sitting down, having the daily connection, having the daily uh, commitment to build a positive momentum, to connect with your team, to connect with your guides, to connect with your angels. And so, I mean, together we can do so much, right? Yeah. So, yeah, let us, let us take a quick break and then we'll be right back with Susan Glavin. everybody welcome back you're listening to the cornelia stephanie show and i'm talking with susan glavin and during the break again we had a fabulous story that susan was sharing about her connecting with the arcturians and um why don't you share that story with us susan okay great i i was this is about gosh it's been maybe four years ago now and i would i was meditating at, a at that time twice a day you know regularly and I had some really profound meditations at night and I was meditating at night and a lot of times when these beings come I see their names they come before me and I saw Arcturian and I, I didn't even know what that was I'm like what in the world is that and I had to go to my roommate and we had to google it and we found out that there are these amazing light beings that are here to support the planet and I'm like okay all right we're good then and so I actually gave them permission to okay what is it you got for me, right? So I was in, for the next couple of days, I was in this amazing, blissful state, having conversations with them that was amazing. I would start to think of what I wanted to ask, and they would answer me before I could even get the thought out. That's how, woo. And I was really, like, blissed out, like, oh. And I thought, you can't be walking around like this. You have to be, you know, get some stuff done. And you can't be in this whole oh, blissful state all the time. So I said, guys, I need to get grounded. You know, I need to. And they said, sit on the bed. So I'm sitting on my bed and I'm kind of a little scared at first. And then all of a sudden I'm just kind of my, just kind of my wa mind wanders off a little bit. And all of a sudden I see this huge circle. It was like a circle with a cross in the middle and it looked like a clock gear. And as I saw it and looked at it, it clicked to the left and clicked in. And I went, okay. And I got out of my bed and it was like my feet were magnets to the ground. It was like, whoa, okay, I'm grounded. Thank you. Well, the next day, my four-year-old grandson came to, I came to visit and I was in my office on my computer and I had this big easel, you know, with, with felt pens and stuff. And he was sitting there and he was doing something and I was on the computer doing some stuff. And I looked over and I went, Oh my God. And he had drawn and he was four. He couldn't even draw a straight line. Okay. He drew the circle with the cross in it. And I remember going, Oh, my. I was so moved. I just started to cry. And so I just knew how, how profound and how deeply loved and how they wanted me to know. Yeah. We're here. You know, it was like, we're, we really are here with you. We really do want to love and support you. We really are, we're here for you. It was just amazing. It was, I've got a million stories to tell. And that was, that's one of my favorites. It was really because he was four, you know, it was like, it was just so moving for me that we had that, you know, he was so connected to me. He knew it was like, yeah. And, yeah. and, he, and you and him, you guys spend a lot of time together. Yes, we do. Hang out every week, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I have three amazing grandchildren, and uh, we've we've been around together, him and I. Definitely, we have some pretty amazing stories to tell about our connection. Yeah. Yeah. That's a yeah. 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 I love um, how uh, they used him to mm -hmm. let you know um, 
that they're that they were with you. That yes. Yeah. And um, yeah. he drew that circle. Yes. Yeah. Profound. So amazing. So moving. I was so moved. I was so moved. It was so, oh, it's great. Uh, Susan, you have an upcoming um, mastery course that you and your partner, um, Samantha Brown, are uh, facilitating here. I think it's on June 2nd. Is that right? June 2nd and 3rd here in Vancouver at this amazing home. It's kind of like they took Tuscany and transported it to downtown Vancouver. It's a beautiful uh, sanctuary and environment where we're all going to come together and really start to play with and start uh, remembering and really experiencing. Because to me, it's linear information is linear information. Experiential will stay with you. That's when you have a cellular experience. And that's what the intent is for us to actually, and we do it along with everybody else. Believe me, this isn't about talking heads in front of a room. This is about us gathering and really using the energies and the momentum of all the beings that are present and seen and unseen to really up level and make an impact note, not only in our individual lives of mastery, because that's what it's about. It's time to claim it. It's time to own it. It's time to be responsible for it. And it's time to see the magic of that and to really up level in a way that, and I know already that that gathering is going to ripple out into the world. If you want to see the suffering stop in the world, start doing things like this, because I tell you, once we shift, the world shifts. So it's truly about really owning, designing, creating, and being the masters that we are. And I have very simple things that you can do daily, some of which I've shared today. And Samantha is an amazing energy worker and healer. And so we're all going to do it together, which is so it's cool. Fun. Yeah. It's fun. So it's a, for two days. So where can yeah. people find out more about it? Uh, well, go to your website. There's also a link. There's a link that you have under, and that should be good. You can also email me at Susan at Susan Glavin, and I can send you all the information. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be powerful. And for everyone that's listening today, I also set it up on the website where you register that you get a $50 discount off the, the price. So, okay. I'll okay. appreciate that. Yeah. You also have it on your Facebook. You also yes, it's on my Facebook page. Yes, so all that I think you've got that all dialed in, honey. I know yeah. you've got you you're so to, good at that. You have to tell people how to get there because when people are driving in their car and they're listening to a podcast. Okay. Yes, yes, Susan Glavin on my Facebook. Um, I guess that's it, and I also know there's a link underneath the. Um, the uh, uh, Transformational Talk Radio. Yes, <laughs> very good. That too. So, so, yeah, that's all there. I, I guess I wasn't very prepared for this, was I? No, but um, if you're called, if you're called, you can, You, I know you'll get to us. I know you will. So, yeah. good. That's, that's going to be a fun time. So, that's June 2nd, June 3rd. They can go yes. to SusanGlavin.com and they yes. can go to Susan Glavin Facebook and they can find out information there. Absolutely. $50. $50 discount for anybody that wants to sign up that's listening to this uh, yes. audience here today. Yes, Wonderful. absolutely. I'd love to have you. So thank you so much, Susan. We have just a few short minutes. Um, give us your um, final words about connecting with the A-team and um, what, what you want to leave our listeners with So today. Mm, what do I want to leave you with? Uh, I guess it would be how profound you are and the fact that you're here on the planet right now I just really 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 want you to know that you are a master here and whether you know that right now or not I'm telling you that you are if you made it on planet earth at this time you are a master you're here for a reason and it may be something that you that people would think is a little reason, but whatever that is that you're here to do is so important for the whole picture. We need your peace. I don't care how big or small it is, but we need it and we need it now. And we're here to support you in, in delivering that, especially with talk shows like this. Ah, thank you so ah, much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's really time for, 
us to be bold and to be courageous and to come out and support each other. Because again, that unique gift that you have that only you can bring yes. is the piece that's, that's missing. And so for if everybody just brings their unique piece, um, it's weaving the tapestry and um, weaving it all together. And it's, again, us doing it together as, as a team of light workers, light beings that we are in living heaven on earth. Thank you so much for tuning in and for listening. We'll see you again soon. Namaste.